Hello guys, so today I'm gonna teach you how to make animations on Blender and for that we're gonna create a new place where we're going to do that create new game I recommend to make the empty base plate, I will explain why uh, anything else doesn't really matter, it's just create the game now we have the place uh, we make it public, you can give it private if you want to And if we click on dots, we click on edit. Uh, so, first thing we want to do is to get the uh, Blender plugin. We already have it, but if you don't, then click on manage plugins. Then find plugins, type Blender in the library and um, here you go you take the dense one credit to him for making this one it's really good if you want to know more about it then go check it out in the forums if not then uh, i try to explain as much as i understand myself here so you just click on install and you have it then if you go to the place then you should uh, have the plugin now under plugins and uh, if you don't know how to get the explorer then just go to view get the explorer properties and use the toolbox i don't think we need toolbox in this one so we want to press f6 or you can go here and uh, press play here i think and then you get your own character and you copy it and you can stop the dust and you press ctrl v and you paste it you should paste it completely middle of the map i don't know if, if it goes there right away hopefully it does we will see it's important to get it middle of the base plate it seems like it is pretty much in the middle so you take your character and you have to anchor at least one part of it so we go to humanoid truth part and uh, we take you can either use anchor tool from here or you can scroll down if you have properties and make it anchored so now what you want to do is click on blender animations and select the rig model so this is the rig model for you and uh, here you have a bunch of stuff uh, if we want to export rig and we're going to save it to desktop um, i think i made blender folder yes and we're gonna name it test and just save it now you move to your blender so okay now we're on blender so first thing you want to do is click on file, go to the user preferences. At first you might be on the interface, but we click on the four button, which is add-ons. And after we go here, we want to install our own Roblox add-on from file. And from here, if you pull this one down, you can choose where you want to go. For example, I go to desktop, I have my blender folder and here i can take this file and i can install it if i double click the link yes so after i install it then i can find this add-on here if i scroll down the roblox animations i already had one now i have two but uh, you make this one active by clicking on the box and you save user settings after that you can close this one out so now on left side you can find animation it was there before too but now when you click it it has the roblox animation bar too so since we took model from here and we exported it to the folder then now we can click on import model and we go to the desktop to the blender file and we can see 
our test thing is here. We double click it and we have it. It's here. Now we can pretty much start animating. For that, first thing we need to do is to rebuild rig. We click on it, we click on OK, and now under scene, we go down and there is a new button called rig. We make it active, we go down here, and we change the object mode to pose mode. And uh, from here, we take lock road, which is rotation, and here we press the automatic keyframe in. If you have any questions what any of those buttons do, then be sure to like ask about it or just post uh, comments down below in the comment section and I'll try to answer it. So pay attention that this arrow thing you want to change to this uh, curve button, which is rotation stuff. So now we can pretty much start animating. So this one here is our animation bar. It's uh, from one frame to 250. So we make 20 frames and uh, first frame make is um, you just choose your left mouse button to move his hand or her hand or whatever first frame we start off like that I make some really simple uh, animation here not gonna face too much time with it because that's not the purpose of this video And basically here you just keep putting the frames on and you just do the random animations. You can do whatever you want really. Okay, we did some animation. If you press on this button, you can run it. It looks quite weird. But uh, that's what we have. So if you feel like the animation is too fast, you're looking at it and you're like, hey, it's too fast and they don't want to redo it and use more frames, then what you want to do is pause it. And uh, if you want to make it, for example, twice as uh, slow as it is at the moment, then you need twice as frames. So when you had 20 frames, you need 40 frames. And here, when you where you see time remapping, the hundred you change to fifty, which means that it's twice as slow. And if you play it again, you can see it's very slow. And if you want to make it faster, you make it to two hundred. But then you want to make ten frames, not forty, because uh, then the loop works better. But we're gonna keep it that it was 20 frames and the uh, time remapping is 100. If you make too many frames, for example, say if we have 40 frames, then you just don't have loop. Uh, from 20 to 40 frames, it just uh, doesn't move at all. It's the last frame, but you haven't animated it. So it just stops, as you can see. But mostly people want to make loops. So you want your end number to be the last frame that you actually did. And then it keeps moving and it doesn't stop. Okay, so we have done our animation. What we do next? So there is button called export animation. You click on that. And we have done it. We go to the Roblox Studio. And we click on import animation. And paste animation data below this line. You hold down control button and you press V. Control V, pasting. And as you can see, the animation is already working. If you want to upload animation to Roblox, click on upload animation to Roblox. Here you can just create new, name it to 
random daily or whatever you want to name it and here you go you can find your uh, animations under your profile then just scroll down animations and it's here and if you click on it then you can see you have created animation if you have any questions how to use them or how to upload them or what you can do with animations or any other questions about this whole video or you are just struggling with something or you want to know what uh, some other buttons do here then just uh, post those questions down below and I try to answer them so yeah have good fun and good luck with animating your Roblox character bye